This here is the OBS Wonner Honor Owner uh, O N E R Wonner. I, I don't know what it's supposed to be pronounced like. Let's show you the box. Here's the box. Right here, there's the box. All right, front, side, back. Uh, right up front, I'll tell you that um, uh, the, the samples they sent me um, do not come with a 510 adapter. However, when I look on the website, it indicates they come with a 510 adapter. So there's a, you know, their pod with their coil. Yeah. Be that as it may, let's get the old... Ooh. Thanks, Scott. Let's get that out. Let's do a little, a little bit of destruction here. Just a little bit. Okay. Wow. Don't bother me. Okay, here, let me get it back on camera. Open up the box, it just slides. First thing you're graced with is an owner's manual. <laughs> User's manual, right? Uh, let's take a look. Multilingual manual. Four pages, you know, for each one. All right. There we go. Owner's manual. What's this? Atomizer user attention. Attention. Once you detect a loss of flavor, please refill the tank to avoid burning wrist. Okay. Ah, the silica gel. The silica gel. Uh, coil. Here's the pod. It's got a pre-installed coil. Uh, it looks like I think it comes with a 0.2. Yes, a 0.2 mesh and a 0.4 mesh. So it looks like the 0.2 mesh is installed. But we'll get a closer look. USB-C charging. It's only a 1.5 amp charger, so it's not going to charge your battery too fast. Um, and then here's the oh, owner. Wonner? Wonner. Wonner? Honor? Let's put this aside. Yeah, let's put all this aside. Let's take a look at this little guy here. Uh, shall we zoomy zoomy? Yes. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay. So that's looking down the throat in your pod. Simple, you know, once you have a coil installed, it's magnetically attached. Boom. There it goes. In there. In there, just like that. Oh, while I'm down here, I might as well... There's a little arrow indicator on the top here. There it is. The fillet, you simply slide, stick it through uh, the hole, the fillet. Uh, it doesn't have a vag flap. Thank you very much. I don't like those. You know, and there you go. Air adjustment. Quite a range of motion. Very easy to use. Air supplies on both sides. Both sides, right? That's the screen there. This one, um, what flavor is this one? It comes in charcoal gray, vintage brown, carbon black, which is the one I have vaping. Yes, carbon black. Um, denim blue, vintage red, and this is Aurora Cyan. Aurora. And these are leather. That's what they indicate, that they're leather. Far button, up, down, micro USB charging port. That's the base of the unit. What else we got going on here? Okay. You supply your own 18650. It does have a nice big plus sign down there. I don't know if you uh, catch it on there, but positive down. Screw your battery cap on. 
let's see, it's a, you know, plug and play. Whoop, there you go. There's the coil. Mesh. Meshy, meshy. You can see there's a significant difference in size between the 0.2 and the 0.4. All right, let's stick this in here. All right. Let me put this all aside. <coughs> Pardon me. So this is the one I've been vaping on right here. Let's take a look at the screen. How does that show up? Let's get in there really tight. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Power. It's wattage based. That's it. It's a wattage based unit. Right? You adjust your wattage. That's it. Uh, VRT. Yeah, I have no clue what that is. Let me take a look at the um, manual. Da, 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 da. I don't know what VRT stands for. Uh, let's turn this back on. And then you have, what is that, a puff counter? You have your voltage when you're vaping on it. You have your ohm reading in the middle. And you have a, what is that on the bottom there? Oh, seconds vaped. Okay, so, again, voltage, ohm reading, seconds vaped, puff counter, uh, and then you have, at, as you fire it, you can see a little gradient there, right? Is this on the camera? Is it focused? I hope so. Let's see what happens when I fire this. It does nothing. And then you got all these little color squares here. So if you uh, click your fire button in three times, if you do it fast enough, it changes color. It changes color. Yay. And it, you see all the colors on the bottom there. Okay. Now, in the beginning with this, it was like frustrating. I'd go to change my wattage and I couldn't do it, right? I just couldn't do it. You have to click either the plus or minus button three times fast. And then that unlocks it. And then let's see if it does it here. I'm going to click it three times fast. Okay, let's see. We get anything? No, one, two. Okay. Ah, now, okay. Seems like you got to do it twice to get it in this mode. So I'll leave it at 50. And then as you're vaping and you haven't done anything with it, it automatically locks it. Okay. Automatically locks it. At least that's my experience. Now, I, obviously, I don't have the opportunity to try the 510 adapter because mine didn't come supplied with one. Let me read you some specs. Then I'm going to go over my experience that I had with this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, specs. Let me get down. Parameters. Parameters. Okay. Size is 94.5 by 52.5 by 28.5. Weighs 105.5 grams. Uh, battery material. What? Oh, okay. They're talking about the mod itself. It's zinc alloy plus leather. So it tastes in 18650. The wattage ranges from 5 to 80 watts. Output voltage is 3.2 to 4.25. That's it. What the fuck was that? 4.2. I had something crawling on me, so I had to kill it. Um, charging current is, like I said, 5 volts at 1.4 amps. Eh. So you. Okay. Um, pod capacity is 5 or 2 mil for TBD. The one that goes over there, across the pond. Char coil resistance, you get a 0.2 and a 0.4. Pod material is PCTG. Anything else I need to reference here? Do, 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 do. Say hi to new face. Brand new UA adds brilliance to the whole. With detailed vaping data, it's clear uh, is it's it's clearly uh, presented. 
like the battery level voltage. What it do? Change the screen color. Okay. All right. Simple mod. Wattage only. Fairly good vape. Good vapor production. Now, all right. So this came in, I don't know, a few weeks back, right? I was excited. OBS, I was excited, right? So I, I unboxed one of them, you know, put a battery in it, filled the, the pod with juice, my juice, you know, the one I make for myself. And started vaping on it and going, okay. Uh, so it's like it took a, a while for me to kind of get used to holding it because uh, there's another brand uh, that I have and it's 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 far thinner than this one. All right, so it's like at first I'm going, oh man, I don't know about this. This is chunky. It's a monkey. What's going on here? So it's like eh, I'm not sure if I'm into this. So I I put it aside for a little bit. Yes, I did. Um, I don't think I need top cam anymore, so let me shut that down. You're welcome, and turn it off. Okay. So, I, you know, in a day comes around, oh, okay, let me uh, vape on this for a while. What the hell? Good. Ew! What is this? And lo and behold, the, the entire pod, that was, you know, I, I just, you know, filled it before, I might have vaped it for a little while. It might have been three-quarter full. It had dumped right through, out through the air holes. And, and it's like, what the heck is that? So I was pissed. I was pissed. You know, I'm going, great. So uh, like f at least four milliliters of my juice is dumped. I was pissed. So I took this thing and I put it up in my cab and I said, fuck that, right? Okay. But, and, you know, I got over it. At, at two weeks went by at least. Two weeks, all right? I wasn't touching this thing. So I figured, okay, let me um, give this thing another shot. So I, I pulled out, you know, the pod. And, of course, and if you look in here, you know, uh, sorry I turned off that top cam maybe i can get this thing to focus yeah you can see that that's wet look around the coils you know around uh outside of the coil that's wet and you look in here look at the look at the middle ring that's got juice on it too it's like what is this condensation what's going on here What is that? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, get back to it. It's like, took the pot out. I cleaned everything up. I pulled out the coil. Reseated the coil. And, okay. Started vaping it again to give it an honest chance. Honest chance. That's what I do, right? Give these things an honest chance. I'm going to go down to half air. Give them an honest chance. And it's like, okay, it, it behaves to the extent that I just showed you, meaning you pull the pot out and you're going to have that wetness going on. You're going to have this wetness going on. That's what it does. For me. So I wish they had provide the... Um, so I don't know what to make of, of their pod system and their coils. All right? I'm just telling you the experience I had with this. It's not like these coils are keyed in any way. Okay? That there's a certain way they have to go in. They aren't. All right. So I wish I had the 510 adapter because obviously this nonsense in here wouldn't occur 
with, quote, a 510 adapter where you're using your own topper on it, right? Unless you have a crappy topper, right? So that's the ins and outs of the wonder owner however you pronounce this thing by OBS OBS vape yes Robert Ellis the armed vapor